All right, it is Saturday afternoon. I've already done the yard selling this morning, uh, went to lunch, and now it's time to start doing up packages. So let's get to it. All right, <clears throat> our first two packages, one's a pop and one is a comic book. So let's see, there he is. There's the little pop. And he sold for $10 plus shipping. And he has been listed since August 26th of 2020. We'll set him right there. And let me go turn on the light so we can see the comics better. Comic books. This is for an Avengers. right there so this is an Avengers annual comic book it sold for a dollar and 20 cents and has been listed since June 18 of 2016 so that has been on for quite some time but that's how my inventory is um, I have stuff that's been on forever and, you know, the stuff I just listed yesterday. And you sell a bit of both. And for me, it takes both to make it. Um, I do have a large inventory. I think right now I still have a little over 22,000 items listed. And, like I said, I do this full time. So, for me, you know, every minute... Basically, I should either be listing or packing. And if you, you know, don't have packages to do, you know, it's nice. And it would be great to say, hey, I only list, you know, 10, 20, 50 dollar items, 12 ounces on that. But when you don't have that, you need to list the items you do have. And like I say, I guess I'm talking mainly to full time people because, uh, you just don't have a choice. It's either, you know, you list those, because I look at it as like bread on the water. You know, that package took, what, 30 seconds or so to package up, maybe a minute. Uh, yes, it only sold for $1.20. When the dust settles after fees and shipping everything, I get, I think, about $1.50. And so, you know, if, if, you know, you don't want to do that, then don't do it. But I was kind of like, hey, instead of sitting here twiddling my thumbs, let me list everything and everything. Uh, now, a dollar twenty is about the lowest I go. Sometimes if people are buying a group, you know, every now and then, I might go a buck on a comic. But, and in... As of right now, I've got so much inventory, I don't know when I'll be listing comics again. I've been buying a ton lately, and it, it's just the way it works. I mean, right now people are selling a bunch. That is 8 ounces. Alright, I'll get the labels on these, and we will get going on the next ones. Okay, the next two items... <clears throat> we have is a lot of Star Wars figures, the uh, vintage ones from 70s, 80s. Let's see. Oh, here we go. And these here, five droids. And that sold for $60 plus shipping. And they were listed... July 12th of 2018. So, almost three years. And then Conan the Usurper. This sold for $10.34 with free shipping. And it was just listed on 
March the 3rd uh, this year, 2021. So it's only been on 17 days, so that's pretty good. Pretty nice quick sale. And I've been, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago, you know, you're always changing and trying to do different stuff on eBay, get more sales and everything. So a couple months, a couple months ago, I started offering free shipping on several items. And yeah, I don't know if that really changed or affected my sales or not, but it's supposed to jump you in the rankings. You know, if you offer the free shipping and, you know, I think I signed up on a guaranteed delivery thing or whatever, but I, I don't know if it has. I, my sales have been up this year and doing really well, but I don't know if that's because of, you know, some search ranking on eBay or just because this year I've listed so much stuff and had, you know, actually kind of better stuff. So... I'm one of those folks that's just kind of like, you know, kind of like the, the spaghetti. You throw it all against the wall and see what sticks. So I don't mind offering free shipping on items. And, uh, you know, if that works, that works. And if it doesn't, I don't know. I'll go back to charging shipping. And, you know, I can't tell. It's not like 90% of my items are, are the items I'm selling that are free shipping. So it's easy to tell. So I might just keep doing both for a while. And I was kind of surprised these droids took so long to sell. Most of my old Star Wars, vintage Star Wars stuff sells really quick, but it's okay. Both of these, again, are going in these 864 boxes and use plenty of bubble wrap padding. ounces on that all right let me get these labels and we'll get on to the next okay the next two packages one is an order with two comic books shadow cabinet zero and blood syndicate number one let's see Blood Syndicate, number one. Okay, this is nice. I have multiples, but I only like to list one at a time. <clears throat> so, we'll take this one back with us. And I can basically do a relist on it. And then the other thing... Is... Oh, right there it is. Hellboy. Abe Sapien figure. Uh, now this sold for $6.85 plus shipping and has been listed since July 17th of 2020. Again, this goes in an 864, but this time we use the small bubble wrap because it's a pretty tight fit there. I might double this right on out. 
That's better fit right there. I like that better. ounces that's good um, for the two comic books I like to put them all, both in one bag and let's see here again we have blood syndicate number one this sold for four dollars and 85 cents and was listed on October 9th of 2020 and we have shadow cabinet zero sold for three dollars and 85 cents and it's been listed since October 10th of 2020 and both of these obviously went to the same buyer since I'm packaging them up together. And that's always a good thing. Multiple items to the same person. There we go. ounces so I'll get these labeled up we'll take this one in to do new pictures and then we'll be off doing the uh, next batch all right <clears throat> off to do the next two we have a comic book DC. It sold for six dollars and fifteen cents, and has been listed since September twenty fifth of twenty. So let's get that one done up. one is a uh, Monster High doll. So, they'll go in a 12, a 6, a 6 box. Oh, I think I need two sheets of bubble wrap. see here. Alright, there we go. Uh, Frankie Stein from the Sweet 1600 series. This sold for $13.75 free shipping. And I had a buyer you know, buy these and didn't pay, so they got relisted. And so this has only been on since uh, the 12th of February of this year 2021 so you know a little over a month 
and it's sold again, so that's nice. Before that, it had been on for quite some time. All right, 12 ounces on that. All right, so let me get these labeled and off to the next. Okay, we're ready for the next two. Uh, the first one. Last one of these. Oh. There go. All right, this one is Skull Island, The Birth of Kong. And with that uh, new Godzilla vs. Kong movie coming out in just a couple weeks, the Godzilla Kong stuff has been selling really well. This one sold for $15.85 plus shipping, and it was just listed uh, three days ago, 17th March of 21. And I've sold about eight of those in the last month. And as you saw, that this is my last one, so won't be selling these. But yeah, the big monster stuff, Kong, Godzilla, any of that, Mothra. <clears throat> It sells pretty well all the time, but then, you know, of course, when the movies come out, everybody, you know, gets fresh in their memory, and they want that. ounces and the next one is a uh i've got my little cheat sheet here where i write it down it's a die cast car and i bought these a couple years ago and they have not sold all that well i don't believe i mean to me they haven't all right this is it it is a red 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS. This sold for $6 plus shipping. And it's been listed since July 5th of 2019. Need to measure. I'm not sure if this fits in an 864 box. Yeah, it will. Probably have to use the small bubble wrap on it, or maybe no bubble wrap. We'll see. Like it'll fit, and it's not moving. Eight ounces on that. So let me get these labels on. All right. And the next two. <clears throat> Need to find. Oh, there we go. That was easy. A trap jaw. Masters of the Universe figure. This sold for $34.75. And it was just listed uh, five days ago, the 15th of March of 21. And now the next one is uh, Magic the Gathering cards. Last year I bought a large collection of cards that were all new and sealed and models. Let's see, we are looking for... Huh. There we go. Make sure this is right. Yeah. Alright, Magic the Gathering. I guess it's the Fate Reforged series. And this one is called Stampeding Hordes. But this sold for $7.50. And has been listed since uh, the 21st, April 21 of 
last year 20. So, not, I mean, too long, I guess. Less than a year. But, I mean, I, oh man, a lot of those cards sold really fast in the first month or so. And the one thing I have found about, you know, cards, when they're new and sealed, is eventually they will sell. You know, I mean, obviously the best stuff goes real fast, but you hold it long enough, you know, people want that new and sealed stuff. And so it will eventually sell. And if you have the space, you know, storage it in an issue. And especially now since eBay does not charge, you know, they used to charge... Uh, you know, like a nickel uh, for each item over... I think I get 10000 Or I used to get 10000 Uh Now it's all free. So, what's the matter? As long as you have the space. Alright, 12 ounces. And as you can see, I'm not the most... I mean, I've seen other YouTubes where the... These guys are really organized. You know, anybody could walk in and do their orders that day. And I am not that organized. I know where everything is. Uh, and even still on that, sometimes I don't. But I've been trying, you know, to get it a lot better so that, you know, if I did die, you know, somebody could come in, and my wife or whatever could come in and do pulls that they wanted and keep it going. Or not, but I've been trying. One pound fifteen. The next thing <clears throat> is two more of these magic packs. We have this here. I bought these nine tubs yesterday. Uh, you know, 80s and 90s toys are in this tub. They were store bought. Ghostbusters, Ninja Turtles. I think there's some He Man in here. Uh, I saw some Transformers in one of the tubs. But then a ton of this, at least eight of the tubs, I think, well, let's say seven, are McDonald's toys from the 80s and 90s. And about half of them are new and sealed. And I don't know very much about McDonald's toys. You know, I know some can be good, some are not. So I'll get an education on those and learn that. And I believe in this business, if you're reselling, this is just part of it, you know. You, you've got to constantly be learning. And I, you know, learn by listening and watching it YouTube, other sellers, you know, going yard selling, having the collections come in, you know, and doing that. And, uh, this order was this Magic the Gathering Battle for Zendikar Rallying Cry. They bought both packs I had. Uh, that was $19.98 plus shipping. And they have been listed since April 21st of 2020. And then here is our other order. Uh, frog business puzzle. It's only 150 piece. And that sold for $22.22. .22. It took a best offer. Free shipping. And it has been on since December 14th of 2017. So quite a while. But, I'm a sucker for this new and sealed stuff, so. That, anything made in Italy. A lot of made in Italy stuff. But, they're very simple to ship. One piece of bubble wrap, and then throw it in the box. Off it goes.
problem is shipping on these is quite a bit so you really got to pay you know make sure you get them for nothing because you know shipping will be probably 10 bucks on this and you know when i get 22 if fees are i don't know two or three bucks you're down to where you're only getting seven dollars or so for this but all right let's see there we go and i think the two packs will have to go let's see if we can fit two packs in an 864 Yep, we're going to have to use a small bubble wrap, yeah. Alright. And these two packs will probably be heavy enough where it'll go priority. Alright, but that's 115. Pound 15. some peanuts around there. Just to help hold it in place a little bit. Pound 15. Okay, the next item is a Nerf gun. And I don't mess with Nerf guns very much. I bought these last year at a yard sale because they seem cheap and I know people get good money for them. But I won't mess with them anymore. Uh, this is a rough cut 2x4. And I got $10 plus shipping. And it has been listed since June 14th of last year. Alright. And put this in a 16, 12, 8 box. goes crossways yeah all right let's get three sheets of bubble wrap okay and we'll get some of these uh air pocket thing the jiggers No movement.
All right, two pound rate. All right, we just got another order in, and it is for all these art books. I had these on as four different lots, uh, five and six books a lot, and they've been on since July 23rd of 2019, so almost two years. And uh, someone gave an offer of $30 per lot, and I took it. These are pretty long. They're like nearly 17 inches long. But they are books. They'll ship media rate, which is good. And uh, just so y'all wouldn't have to wait around, I did the measuring and went and found a box before I even got these. And so the box we're going to use is this eBay box. This is what your 12 by 6 by 6 boxes come in. And now, just got to see. Can you see it barely fits in there? Nice and snug. And I think I'll just use packing peanuts. And fill up both sides because I think it, you know, that might help hold it upright better than anything, hopefully. that many in there. I like to use the little tub and just refill it, makes it manageable. I think it's a little easier to handle. Right, let's see. That's still a lot of movement. That's a lot better. So 17 pounds. All right, got another order in, and this one is a comic book, Dark Hawk. Okay, so it's not in the Dark Hawk slot. What might have happened is I might have listed this particular comic before I had enough to make a slot. So it might just be in the generic. Let's 
see the generic marble slot. There it is. All right, this sold for a dollar sixty, and it has been listed since September sixth of twenty twenty. This one's probably going to be a 12 ounce one because it's a little thicker. Just got another order in. This one's back here. The old garage. Let's see if we can get past this without hitting the camera. Oh. The answer is no. Alright. It is this here. Despicable me keychain. Here we go. Yeah, heart shaped minion keychain. New in the package. Uh, sold this for $5.75 plus shipping. And it has been on since June 17th of 2020. Ship it in an 864 box. could just as easily go in a padded envelope but I think the box is a nicer presentation so that's what I use Okay, I've got uh, another package to do up. I just sold this 3DS XL and it's for parts. Somebody had taken it apart. I sold it just the way it was. Took pictures of it in pieces and I have no idea. The bottom screen is completely missing, so I know that much. But I have no idea if the top screen actually does work. If any of it works, I don't know. But I just listed it, and it took about, uh, I don't know, about 30 minutes. And it sold for $39.75 plus free shipping. Send it in an 864.
this was sold you know as is for parts or repair but <clears throat> even when you sell something like that parts or repair you still want to package it properly yeah that way they don't get it any worse than because it the condition does not improve after it leaves you all right 12 ounces all right we just had another sale and this one was a quick one as well let's see it is a lot of monster high dolls uh there are five of them that were missing hands but there were 14 dolls total and that sold for $94.75 free shipping and sold within an hour of listing it. So that is a good sale. And all of these came from the uh, church rummage sale two nights ago. Uh, they were 50 cents, I think 50 cents a doll there. I spent $85 total that night there. And this should, I thought they were going to fit just right in there. I think they will with maybe small bubble wrap. Because I measured the figure before. Eh, maybe I just got to do them one at a time. Because I measured, uh, I measured them before I decided this is the box they'd go in. But yeah, two nights ago, spent eighty-five dollars total for everything, and here we are getting. I should get basically all that money back with these. So real happy about that, and still have some really good stuff from there to list. There's a there we go. And yeah, the Monster High dolls are apparently quite popular still. And like I said, it took an hour. About, about an hour. Yeah, she was missing both hands. And I think part of what helped this was that they're all, you know, clothed. And three of them did not have shoes, but all the rest actually had, you know, their shoes on and everything. So I think that helped this particular lot as well. Even though when I looked, I mean, Monster High dolls in lots still sell very very well there we go i think that's that's a little bit weaker than i'd like that seems nice right there we go Four pounds. We'll probably go priority because I'm in Texas. I think this is going to Arizona, so it's not very far away. All right, that is it for today. Had a good day. Had yard sales. Uh, found some good stuff. Did a, quite a few packages. I really didn't get a list much, but I mean, I did sell two of the items I just listed today. So it's time to go eat dinner and relax a little bit. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.